Grace and peace to you all. This is Pastor Pimpong, and I am speaking to you on this morning, Saturday morning, uh, October, October the 7th. It's drizzling. It was very foggy early in the morning when I started uh, walking. I have walked about eight miles now. I just want to let you know of the goodness of God. He has been so good to me. He woke me up this morning. He caused me to hear his loving kindness this morning. And he also gave me the strength to be able to walk. By his grace, I am eight miles into my walk. By the time I get home, I'll be about... I would have walked about 12 miles. That's a motorcycle that just passed. There's a car. I'm right here on Liberty Road. I've covered so many roads. Uh, I went to Woodemere uh, and then to Company Mill. Um, and uh, I'm now heading towards uh, uh, several streets before going home and then to get ready to go and officiate a wedding. I'm a co-officiant at a wedding this morning of one of my former students at ANT State University of Bound Program and uh, a member of the church, uh, the wedding this morning. Anyway, I want to let you know how good the Lord is today. Yesterday we had a, a wonderful crusade uh, the message came from Romans chapter 1, verse 16 through 32, and 1 Corinthians chapter, 1, chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. And um, I would like you to read that scripture, study it very carefully, and I pray that the Lord will enlighten you on it. Where it talks about in Romans chapter 1, it says, Therefore God gave them up. God gave them up. And all those things that were being committed down over there is a result of God giving them up to their evil passion. And I uh, have to uh, reiterate that, to stress that. It is important we do that. Don't let anybody deceive you or lie to you in telling you that, well, you know, people are already in hell, so you don't need to tell them that if they... They, if they sin, they'll go to hell. Look, that's a lie. It is a devil, Satan's way of letting us not sound the alarm, you know, to wake the, God's people to wake up. The word of God is so clear. Sin is sin. Hell is real. And if we don't preach and warn people of the consequences of sin, how would they know? How would they know? You know, where we say if somebody preaches that somebody is going to hell, the person is being judgmental. No, no, that's not true. That's a lie. Otherwise, then we have to remove the word sin from the Bible. We have to remove anything that even talks about hell from the Bible. Take them all out. Then what do we have? Nothing. Then why, how do we tell the people how, why Jesus Christ came? He came to die to set us free from the power of sin. Hell was made for Satan. And we have to stress that so if anybody follows after Satan, after his pernicious ways, he will go there. You know, the book of 2 Peter chapter 2 is very clear. And the book of Jude is very clear. And even those two books talks about false teachers who have who lie against the truth. And that's what we have today. You know, we don't have, we don't have men and men of, the, of, the, of, men of God who are willing to call sin, sin. We just want to sugarcoat it. And so Romans chapter 1 says that they, they hold the truth of God in unrighteousness. And we lie. You know, when we say that you don't preach that somebody will go to hell if he is living in sin that because the person is already in hell. Nobody is in hell. Nobody is in hell. Now, we are in sin. There is a consequence of sin. 
you know but we preach and say that if you don't repent from your evil ways you know god loves you jesus died for you he will die to set you free from sin but if you don't repent and turn from your wicked ways and you follow after satan then the destination of satan is where you go you know it is as clear as daylight so i can't see how anyone can say that you don't preach ab about hell that's telling somebody that you go to hell that's not it's, it's being judgmental or preaching a, a, on sin touching on sin no 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 and i don't know how we can even submit or subject ourselves to that. And it's because these people have become so rich. They have become so fat. The word of God describes them in Ezekiel chapter 34. They have become so fat. They follow up the material things. Philippians chapter 3 verse 18. He said these people, they are enemies of the cross. You know, their God is their belly and they mind earthly things, material things. But that, those are the people that we love. We want to follow them because they tell us things that tickle the ear, things that make us comfortable in our sin. You know, but beloved, I want to encourage you. This morning as I walk, it is raining, you can tell. You know, it's drizzling. But I want to let you know, let us not the blood that of Jesus Christ that was shed at Calvary be in vain. Hebrews chapter 6 is so clear. Hebrews 11 is so clear. If we willfully sin, if we willfully sin after knowing the word of God, there remains no more a sacrifice of sin, but a fearful prospect of judgment. That is a powerful word. But then if I preach that or somebody preaches that, or somebody who wants to do the will of God, we will say, hey, he's being judgmental. We don't want to even hear those people. We just want the people who tell us sweet things. And that's why our world has come to. Paul says, knowing therefore the terror of God. That's what Paul said. Knowing therefore the terror of God, we persuade men. We persuade men. People who are led by the true spirit of God persuade men. We let them know of the dangers ahead if they don't repent and turn from their wicked ways. And we talk to Christians also that if they cannot live in sin we cannot live in sin we cannot live in sin because the consequence of that is very dire beloved this is pastor pimple you know we have to call a spade a spade i just want to make it keep it real the word of god is truth it's real you don't make many friends when you preach the truth and don't count of having your name in on the corner of somebody saying that you are his or her, whatever. No, but that's not what we are looking for. We don't look for accolades. We preach the truth of God. So please, if you're a man of God listening to this message, don't make apologies for preaching the truth. Preach God's way, the truth of God. It will not make you many friends on earth but it will make you friends in heaven. And that is where we are all heading to us. The Bible says, on that day, many shall say, Lord, Lord. And the Lord will say, I never, never knew you. He said, you got all your rewards on earth. All your five planes and 10 planes and 20 planes and million dollar mansions. And you got them all on earth. You've got your reward already. Hallelujah. But there are some whom the Lord says, well done, good and faithful servant enter you into my rest be among those people many are called few are chosen the word of god says many are called but few are chosen broad is the way many go therein and it leads to destruction narrow is the gate is few that enter in it leads to eternity in heaven which way will you choose today the broad way where everybody, most people go with the cheering and the jumping and the screaming and the clapping of hands and the dress. We dress so coquettish. You know, even prostitutes wouldn't want to dress the way some of us who call ourselves Christians dress. You know, 
we are in, as if we are in a competition with Jezebel. You know, all in the name of Christianity. No, 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 no. The Lord is coming. Beloved, Jesus Christ is coming. You and I have to flee. Flee the passions of this world. Flee. Flee the love of, this, of the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. God bless you. This is the message that God will have me to share with you today. Remember, I love you. But Jesus Christ loves you most. Yield your all to him. Make sure that the covering that you have is a covering of the true Holy Spirit of God. Not false covering. Read Isaiah chapter 30. Okay? Not false covering. False strange spirit. Let it be the true spirit of God. And the true spirit of God reverence God. Speaks what God wants us to speak. And considers the whole word of God. Not selective ones. That will fill our fancy. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Please fill your day today with walking or jogging. Exercise. It is good for your health. It is good for your physical health, mostly. It's also good for your spiritual health. It clears your mind. It clears your eyes. It clears your thinking. It exercise your lungs, your joints, your ligaments, and your heart. Strengthens your heart. So please, exercise today. May the Lord bountifully, abundantly, bless you. Grace and peace from Pastor Pimpong uh, from Greensboro, North Carolina. This is to all of you and for all of you who receive, if you are on my platform and you receive this. If you love the message, please share it. And if you don't like it, even share it. Share it and say tell, to your friend, tell him, listen to what this guy, this foolish man is saying. It could be that to you it may be foolish. But once you, the person you say, this foolish man listens to you, say, hey, my, there's a nugget in this. It will be helpful to me. So please share it, okay? Whether you like it or not, share it. Pass it on, okay? God bless you. God bless you. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.